Step five includes early beats, missing beats, or beats that just appear a little bit different from the rest. So anytime we're looking at early beats, we're most likely looking at premature contractions. They can originate from the atria, meaning that they are a premature atrial contraction. They can come from the junction, meaning that they're a premature junctional contraction, or they can originate from the ventricles, meaning they would be a premature ventricular contraction. Anytime we're looking at some kind of missing beat or pauses, it can suggest that we're looking at a delay or block in the heart's electrical system, potentially pointing to an atrioventricular block or even a sinus arrest, where the heart skips a beat or more due to the disruption of the heart's rhythm. And anytime we see beats that just look a little bit different from the rest, this could signify that we have some kind of arrhythmia taking place, like atrial fibrillation, where the P waves are absent and replaced by these kind of fibrillations circulatory waves, or we could even be looking at ventricular tachycardia, characterized by big, wide, and ugly QRS complexes. Each of these patterns are ultimately going to provide us with vital clues of underlying heart conditions, requiring careful evaluation to determine the appropriate management and treatment options.